Jared Polin, fro knows photo dot com something new for all you guys out there in fro world uh i thought it would be a cool idea if you guys would send in raw files one of cool images you have whether they're portraits landscapes just interesting things and then i try my hand at editing it and make a screen flow while i edit it and then greg tries his hand at editing it and records his screen flow so we're we're both recording something but we're not looking at what we are the corrections we're making so i think it would be cool to see how i correct the file versus how greg corrects the file and then at the end put them both together and see how i corrected it versus how greg corrected it so basically the plan is you're going to send a raw file to fro nose photo at gmail Dot com. So that is just a separate box that I only use for this. And please don't send them to the regular email address. So it's fronosphoto at gmail.com. That's where you're going to send the photos. So for the first one, I decided to pick one of uh, a photo that I took, which was yesterday at the Camden. Well, I can't say yesterday. Who knows when you're watching it? But it was recently taken uh, Camden River Sharks game with a six fro readers from the website who came out with me to the baseball game to shoot. So I sent this file over to Greg, and now I'm going to go through the process of me editing it, editing it, and then after you see me edit it, we're going to cut in Greg's video editing it, and then we're going to see what happens there. So what am I going to do with this photo? Well, it's tough in the dugout when you've got guys sitting here on the back of the dugout with guys sitting in the front that are split between the sun and the shade because it was taken at what around five o'clock 4 30 somewhere between 4 30 and five o'clock so i want to make it a black and white image i just think that it's going to pop more if i make it a black and white so here we go bam one of the things i do a lot is boom i take my contrast up and then i'm not afraid to go like this and put this to about a stop a little bit over a stop and then i'm going to go to here i want to go to about oh yeah nice black levels look at that and then I'm not going to do fill light. I'm not a fan of fill too much because see what happens. It, it, it does brighten up the back, but we can use the temperature slider to do, well, I don't know what that was, to do something a little similar. So here we go. I'm moving that. I get some mid-range contrast here going with the clarity. Uh, I'm, I don't do recovery. You know I don't like that. It did. You see how it fills in those mid-tones. It grays everything out. Maybe I'll pull back slightly here on the exposure. I got that. I've got my general sharpening setting here. Nothing major. And as you can see, Gizzy looks cool, nice and sharp. Uh, shot at 2.8, by the way, with the 14 to 24. Uh, 3,320 ISO. So you can see the other guys just sitting. I just told him to hang out in the dugout while I shot a picture. Hey, there's my Slingomatic from Think Tank, everybody. I do carry it. So that's what I did with the image. I'm not going to get too much further into this because this is what I normally do. I do little tweaks. Uh, and I don't go too far into it after that. You know, just playing around a little bit here, playing around a little bit. I like that. To me, that's fine. I don't mind that certain highlights are blown out because there's still shadow area here. I like this. I like the way that everybody looks. So, simple way of how I edit it. Now, let's see how Greg is going to edit it. Greg, you are up. All right, so now it's my turn to edit this raw file. First thing I see in this picture is this area up here that is lighter, probably from the sun, and so I'm definitely going to want to get rid of that. Um, it's distracting to me, and I think it needs to go. So I'm going to use the crop tool, and I'm going to crop it. Uh, I think that's a much better crop, um, just a little less distracting, and so that's that's definitely the goal is to get rid of distractions uh, when you know in, in a final image especially if something's going to be printed so I think that has to go uh, next thing for some reason I think this photo is kind of striking me as a black and white um, I do a quick uh, selection over to black and white and start looking at it and not sure which way I want to go yet so I'll add some clarity and uh, I'm going to bump up my t my contrast. Um, I like to use the point curve. Sometimes I'll go into the separate regions and edit, but I think I'm going to leave it as that. 
Um, once again, as I did in my other black and white videos, I could uh, uh, open up different areas here or there, everywhere. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to blow up the exposure. Let's try that. And you know what? I really like that. Um, I like how it's the the highlights are kind of gone. Uh, it has a kind of impromptu type of feel to it, to me. Um, I'm gonna open up these this this fill light a little bit just so we get a little show a little bit of detail up in here. Uh, we definitely need a little bit more blacks. Not a whole lot because then we start to lose uh, this area up in here, this roof area that I really like. Um, alright, so let's try my other tricks and see where we're at. White balance really doesn't do anything for me, I don't think. Let's try tint. Definitely changing some colors and switching some stuff around. Um, I think that's about where I'm at. Uh, next thing I'll usually do is, especially if it's a if it's a portrait, I'll go along maybe get rid of some of the little spotty areas by zooming in and and get rid of them. Uh, this particular image, I probably wouldn't need to do that. Um, by zooming in, I can tell it's nice and sharp, which is perfect. We always want to work from sharp images and never use anything that isn't sharp. Um, maybe get rid of this hole down here in the corner if you if you think it's distracting. Oops, I think I hit something wrong here. Let's see. Wasn't really bothering me, but eh, it could go. There. I like that. I think it's a pretty cool image. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, love to hear your opinions. See ya. So, there you go. I made my corrections, Greg made his corrections, and you get the point. Uh, so in the future, Greg will probably go first and then do the wrap-up. After I went ahead, this time went first, I'm doing the wrap-up. So you see that Greg decided that he wanted to crop the image, which is fine because that's what he chose to do and how he would correct the image if it was if he was correct in the image, which he did here. Uh, he's right on with that. If I took a step forward and composed it a little differently or possibly zoomed in with the 14 to 24 uh, and checked my angles, I wasn't checking my angles there. So, or not my angles, but my lines as much. I think that would have been a better thing to do in composition is to take a step forward. It may have blocked out the grate in the bottom of the dugout, uh, but that is what it is. This is what I captured, so I wouldn't crop it personally because that's just what I do and he cropped it here, which is fine, because uh, that's how he would have done it. So you can see how we have different styles, and some of you may like what Greg did, and some of you may like what I did. So you get the picture. This is what we are going to do in the future from images that you guys send in to fronosephoto at gmail.com. So look for one of these each week. This should be fun. Leave your comments. Let us know what you think. Talk to you later. Jared Poland, Fro Nose. Photo. See ya.